What's up, Baltimore City? It's Naja here, Executive Director of the Black Vegetarian Society of Maryland, and I'm here at Be More Green, and we're gonna talk about keeping it fresh. So we got Dominic Nail here of City Weeds. Dominic, what's going on? What are you doing out here? What's going on? So uh, we're right here on North of Pulaski, in front of the Be More Green store and we're giving out fresh produce. It's our Fresh Fruit Fridays. And so we got some fresh apricots, some mangoes, some lemons, some grapes, some blueberries. We got some apples around front, some bananas, grapefruits. What? And we have a couple vegetables too. Why are you doing this? Why did, why did you start this? Uh, there's a lot of food injustices in our Baltimore City, especially on this North Avenue corridor. We're in our 21217 zip code, zone 17. So a lot of people say food desert, a lot of people say food swamp because of the proximity to sustainable, fresh food, uh, life-giving food, not like fried foods or chicken boxes or things of that nature. So um, being in the middle of what they call a food desert, I call it food apartheid. Yeah. Just seeing how different foods or the things that are classified as food affects the community along with everything else. So that's the whole mission of City Weeds and creating the Be More Green store. Um, and it's creating around a free grocery store. So there's no grocery store on North Avenue from Hilton to Milton. So that's from east to west. So it's from Hilton to Milton. There's no healthy corner store, no healthy grocery store whatsoever. That's sad. How, how did you start this uh, initiative, the, the Be More Green and your city weeds? Like, how, how did all that start? Uh, it started post uh, Freddie Gray tragedy in 2015. And it's almost like a self call to action, seeing the vacant lots, seeing the vacant homes, seeing corner stores and liquor stores on every corner, all in within our community. Uh, and how it was affecting the community. Like, we want better education, so it was me working with the youth. I was looking at all the obstacles that I had to work through just to get, you know, different messages and different, you know, educational enrichment points to the youth. So it came from a youth focus, like planting seeds, literally, like creating a whole uh, farmer now, but planting seeds literally in the community within the youth because five, 10 years from now, which is now, you know, we're building citizens, like the 10 year old five years from now is going to be 15, 15 right. year old is going to be 20. Right. So it was literally planting seeds, like even if I wasn't going to see the critical mass happening at that time, then you know, it was more so just getting it started. It was like, wherever I looked, it was, I started addressing the areas that I saw um, no one addressing, at least visibly to my eyes. How do you connect with the community out here and engage them in, in what's going on with the Be, Be, Be More Green and the City Weeds? Uh, so we have uh, community workshops. Like I actually have you know, a workshop where, yeah, no problem bro. Um, engaging with the community, letting them know like, okay, what a mango looks like that doesn't come in a package. Uh, you know what I'm saying? What can you do with lemons? What is this? Some people might have never seen an apricot just in the apricot form. Uh, mainly with vegetables like, um, you know, with fennel or eggplant or squash, things that people don't normally go to and, you know, go in the grocery store and they might like overlook. And that's life giving food. They have, that's food that's easy that's still seed bearing. You know what I mean? That you actually take the seeds and plant them. You know what I mean? And so, and then there's a misconception that like being plant-based and eating quote unquote healthy is expensive. So I'm debunking that narrative and I'm making it free. So, you know, now what? How do you keep it fresh daily? Tell us that. How do you keep it fresh daily? Uh, daily, I keep it fresh. Um, this morning I, I tend to a farm that's uh, connected to the school I teach at, Independence High School. And um, just that was uh, tend to the fresh spearmint that we got up there, tending to our fresh uh, collard greens and our seedlings, our lettuces, our onions. We planted some chard. So keeping it fresh as soon as I wake up, making sure I water everything, keeping it fresh from there. Then immediately leaving there and coming to this food rescue giveaway, 
every Friday. Um, we also had Umar every Wednesday, keeping it fresh. And, uh, you know, so also keeping it fresh by growing microgreens. Nah. So that City Weed Sports A is growing microgreens and that's vegetables that take seven to 10 days to grow. And that's nutrient density that's out of the roof. No problem, problem, no problem. Um, and just making sure we're consistent out here in the community. The rain, sleet, snow, heat, whatever. You know, just making sure that we're out here on these corners the same way I've seen other things every day, no matter what, being sold on the corner. Right. We're taking that same approach, but instead of death and despair, we're doing health and wellness. How can people best connect with you? You can best connect with me um, on Instagram at, at Nellaware, that's N-E-L-L-A-W-A-R-E, -L -L -E. on Facebook, uh, I have a City Weeds page, a Farmer Nell page, and a Be More Green page. And my website is cityweedsbaltimore.com. Thank you, Farmer Nell. Keep it fresh. All right, everyone.